Hi everyone, welcome to the end is at the corner and welcome to our tutorial about combined variation. Now what is combined variation? A combined variation is a combination of direct and inverse variation. So dito sa statement na y varies directly as x and inversely as z, so makikita natin combination siya ng direct at inverse. So this means y is equal to the product of k and x divided by z, where k is a constant of variation. And of course, k should not be equal to 0. So our equation y is equal to the product of k and x divided by z, at saka ang equation na k is equal to the product of y and z divided by x ay mga equations na nagpapakita ng combined variation. So that means y varies directly as x and inversely as z. So kung makikita natin sa unang equation, y is equal to k times x kasi nga y varies directly as x. And inversely as z, kaya naman yung z, i-divide natin dito sa k times x. And itong pangalawang equation naman ay ginagamit upang makuha natin yung k or constant of variation. So kung i-derive natin itong equation na nauna at isosolve natin ang k, ito yung kalalabasan. k is equal to y times z all over x or divided by x. Let's have some examples of combined variation. The acceleration of an object varies directly as the force exerted and inversely as its mass. So, isa ito sa example ng combined variation. Next example of combined variation is this one. The time it takes to paint a house varies directly as the size of the house and inversely as the number of workers. So, pinagsama na nga dito yung direct at inverse variation. Now, let's convert or translate the following statements into equation. And again, K is our constant of variation. Number one. L varies directly with M and inversely with P. So, ang magiging equation natin ay ito. Yung L naka-isolate sa kabilang side, tapos L varies directly with M. Ibig sabihin, yung M, yun yung ipang-multiply natin sa K. Tapos, inversely with P, so i-divide natin yung K times M sa P. So, ito na ang ating equation. L is equal to the product of K and M divided by P. Next statement. B varies directly as C and inversely as the square of D. So, yung B, yung unang variable na binanggit natin ay naka-isolate. And then, varies directly as C. So, yung C, i-multiply natin sa K or constant of variation. Tapos, i-divide natin yan by the square of D. Kasi nga, inversely as the square of D ang nasa statement. So, nasa denominator natin ang D squared. Ang naging equation natin ay B is equal to the product of K and C divided by the square of D. Next statement. Y varies directly as the square root of x and inversely as z. So, what will be our equation? Correct, our equation is y is equal to k times the square root of x all over z. Now, let's solve problems involving combined variation. Our given is y varies directly as x and inversely as z. At ang hinahanap natin dito ay ang constant of variation. So, ang value ng y ay 24, ang x ay 48, at ang z ay 4. First, gumawa muna tayo ng equation of variation. Nakalagay dito, y varies directly as x. So, y naka-isolate is equal to yung x multiply sa k, tapos i-divide natin yan, yung product ng k at x by z. 
So, ito ang ating gagamitin equation para ma-solve yung k or constant of variation. Mamaya ipapakita natin yung pangalawang method or yung ibang method to solve for k. Substitution, yung y palitan natin ng 24. Tapos, yung k hinahanap pa lamang natin. And then, x palitan natin ng 48. Yung z palitan natin ng 4. Multiply muna natin itong nasa numerator. Kopyahin muna natin yung 24. Tapos, 48 times k, we have 48k divided by 4. So, kapag i-divide natin, 48 divided by 4, that is equal to 12k. So, kopya lang si 24. Now, para k lamang yung maiwan dito sa right side, mag-multiply tayo both sides ng 1 over 12 or mag-divide tayo both sides ng 12. So, 12k divided by 12, that is k. And then, 24 divided by 12, that is equal to 2. Therefore, our constant of variation is 2. Now, let's use the other method. Dito sa pangalawang method, gagamitin natin yung k is equal to the product of y and z divided by x. Substitution. Yung y, palitan natin, gawin natin 24. Tapos yung x, gawin natin 48. And then yung z, magiging 4. Multiply lamang natin ang numerator. We have 96, 24 times 4, that is 96 divided by 48. Kapag i-divide natin ito, ang k ay 2, which is the same lang doon sa nakuha natin kanina. Now, let's proceed with another problem. If P varies directly as Q and inversely as the square of R, and P is equal to 2 when Q is equal to 50 and R is equal to 5, find P when Q is equal to 18 and R is equal to 6. So, unahin muna natin is gumawa ng equation. So, P varies directly as Q. So, ito siya, naka-isolate ang P. Is equal to yung Q multiply sa K divided by yung R squared, yun yung nasa denominator. Or yun yung ipang de-divide natin sa product ng K at Q. Now, substitution, isosolve natin yung K or yung constant of variation. Now, substitution. Yung P ay 20, yung K hinahanap pa lamang natin, yung Q ay 50, at yung R naman ay 5. So, isimplify muna natin itong nasa right side. It will become 20 is equal to 50K because 50 times K, that's 50K, and then 5 squared, that is 25. Now, pwede na natin i-divide yung 50 sa 25. 50 divided by 25, that is equal to 2. 20 is equal to 2 times k or 2k. Multiply both sides by 1 half or divide both sides by 2 para k lamang. Yung maiwan dito sa right side. So dividing both sides by 2, 2k divided by 2 that is k and 20 divided by 2 that is 10. So k is equal to 10. Nakuha na natin ang constant of variation. So, yun na yung gagamitin natin para makuha yung P when Q is equal to 18 and R is equal to 6. Now, using this equation, palitan natin yung P is equal to yung nakuha natin K which is 10. Tapos, yung pangalawang value ng Q which is 18 all over 6 squared. Yung 6 ay nanggaling sa Pangalawang value ng R. I-simplify natin yung nasa right side. 10 times 18, that is 180. And then 6 squared, that is 36. I-divide natin ito. 180 divided by 36, answer is 5. So the value of PI, 5. Now let's use the other method. Ito yung ating equation of variation. Tapos ito yung pagkuha ng K or constant of variation. So, i-multiply natin yung P sa square of R. Tapos, i-divide natin yan by Q. Now, let's use substitution. Unahin natin yung mga unang set or values ng P, Q, at R. So, K is equal to yung P na 20. Ita times natin dito sa square ng 5. Kasi ang unang value ng R ay 5. All over 50, which is the first value of Q. Simplify. 5 squared, that is 25, multiply natin sa 20. 
Tapos, kopyahin lamang natin ang denominator na 50. So, 20 times 25, that is 500, divided by 50. So, K is equal to 10. Same lang ito sa nakuha natin kanina. So, gamitin natin yung K dito sa ating equation. So, ang 10 is yung K, tapos yung 18, yung pangalawang value ng Q. All over the second value of R, which is 6. I-square natin yan. Simplify. 10 times 18, that's 180. Divided by 6 squared, that is 36. 180 divided by 36, P is equal to 5. Same lang din sa nakuha natin kaninang value ng P. That's it for our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and we hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.